Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Daniel. I've been requested to do a video on hand sanitizers. People have asked me, how can I make homemade hand sanitizer that is actually good? Uh, not something that you see on the internet that is actually a valid hand sanitizer. So in my research, I've discovered that the World Health Organization has put out a fantastic formula for a good hand sanitizer that has approximately 75% isopropyl alcohol. The CDC says that anything greater than 60% isopropyl alcohol should help kill COVID-19. The World Health Organization's formula makes up about 75% isopropyl alcohol. So let's go through this process. Let's look at the ingredients. The ingredients you require today are the following. Hydrogen peroxide, 3%. Isopropyl alcohol, 99%. Now, the World Health Organization will say 99.8%, but this is 99% or 99.9% .9 is completely fine. You need glycerin, otherwise also known as glycerol, and this is exactly the same as glycerin. Uh, a measuring cup, uh, some sterile water or cool water from a boiled kettle, and uh, a cup if you want to make up a 250 ml solution of this material. The World Health Hand Sanitizer Formula for 75% isopropyl alcohol can be made up in 10 liters, 1 liter, 500 ml, 250 ml, plastic or glass bottles. I made up the 250 ml in a plastic bottle. Actually, I made it up in a sprayer. As you can see for that, you need approximately 10 ml of hydrogen peroxide or 10 cc's of hydrogen peroxide, it is exactly the same. You need about 3.6 cc's of glycerol or glycerin. You need 187.8 mils of isopropyl alcohol, and you can top it up with sterile water to make up a total volume of 250 mils. Now, if you look at these numbers, these are pretty hard to get on a regular measuring cup. So what I do is I just take 11 mils of hydrogen peroxide, five mils of glycerol, and 190 mils of isopropyl alcohol, and I just top it up to 250 cc's. So here we have hydrogen peroxide, again, isopropyl alcohol, glycerin. So this is a mixture of all of these three ingredients. Now I'm just gonna to top it off here with sterile water to make 250. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix this up slowly and gently. And once it's mixed up, I'm actually going to put it into a hand sanitizing size bottle such as this, and you can actually use this as a hand sanitizer. The other thing is once you have mixed up, you can also put it into larger bottles and use it as a sprayer as well. The hydrogen peroxide is actually something that is used to kill bacterial spores that could be present in this particular mixture. The only active ingredient against coronavirus in this particular mixture is the isopropyl alcohol. Other than that, the glycerin is to help your hands not feel dry, essentially. So the main ingredient here is the isopropyl alcohol, and you have to make sure that you use enough of that. Once you have created the solution, you have to make sure that you let it sit for 72 hours so that the hydrogen peroxide can actually kill all the bacterial spores that might be present in that solution. And this is a recommendation by the World Health Organization. 